everyone, welcome back to my channel. It has been a long time since I filmed the video here in my makeup room, so I'm really excited to be here right now. <laughs> I'm gonna be showing you all of my Christmas for no, Christmas decor 2020. I am so excited. This is gonna be a long haul. I plan on doing just one huge one. If it gets too big, then I might just split it into two pieces. I'm not sure. We'll see how this goes. I hope you guys enjoyed. And also, if you're new to my channel, my name is Leslie and I love filming home decor videos, lifestyle, fashion, shop with me, a little bit of everything you will see here. So if you enjoy those kind of videos, be sure to like and subscribe. And also, this is today's look. Oh my god, I'm loving, loving this dress. I'll link it down below if you guys are interested. Same with the hoops. They're really pretty. I'll do a close-up of the makeup and the earrings and all that. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy this video. So let's jump right into it. The first item I want to show you are some ornaments and I found them at Home Goods. I thought they were really pretty. Also, I feel like I'm all over the place. But I don't know if you guys saw my previous video. I did my tree reveal. I will be using a black Christmas tree or actually two Christmas trees this year. Um, so my decor that I'm going for is going to be champagne, blacks, and also you'll see a lot of greenery as well. As the video goes, you'll see what I'm talking about. But this is one of the ornaments that I found. The price for this was $12.99. This is how it looks like. Super pretty. I'll put something similar down below in the description box if you guys are interested. Check out the description box. I'll leave everything down below. Up next, we have more ornaments. These were a lot cheaper. They were $6.99. And I believe they're glass. I just realized that they are glass. So I'm going to have to put them high so that the kids don't try to play with them. But they're really pretty. Again, it's champagne. And I love the little swirl detail that it has. Let me know in the comments down below what theme are you using this year for Christmas. I honestly don't even know the theme for my Christmas. I feel like it's just green, black, and champagne. <laughs> Although when I did do my uh, Christmas reveal of my trees, somebody mentioned that they look like burned trees. So I'm like, okay, maybe they can be burned trees. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, they're black. I feel like they're different, but I have noticed that a lot of people are using black ornaments this year so it must be a thing i also got some uh velvet ribbon that i'll show you actually i think i got those from target well i got some from target michaels and hobby lobby because i wanted to see which ribbon was going to be better since i knew i was going to use two two trees so here we have all my ribbon let's go through it it is a lot of ribbon okay so this is all the ribbon i have i have a lot of ribbon and again, this right here, champagne, and then I'm gonna mix it with the black. It's gonna look so pretty. So the ribbons that I'll be using, let me do a close up so that you guys can see. Here you have it, and the color is champagne. I got this from Michaels, so I'll link it down below. And then I also got some black velvet, black velvet. Then I got more velvet. This is a lot smaller, but I feel like it's going to be so pretty against the greenery. I was thinking of doing ribbons all around it. I mean, first, that was my first um, idea. And then later on, I remember of a dress that I bought for my sister-in-law's wedding. Super gorgeous dress. Let me show it to you because it's literally right next to me. I'll show it to you so you see what I'm going for. <laughs> the look that I'm going for for my Christmas tree. So this is the dress that I bought in LA for her wedding super gorgeous dress I loved it I love all the detail the gold well, it's like a champagne color so I thought if I can make my Christmas tree look similar to my dress that's gonna look so beautiful um, so yeah hopefully I still fit in it <laughs> that way maybe I can do some pictures got a total of probably 15 ribbons and then I also got some glittery one black i think i need a few like wider ribbons because the widest i have is two and a half i was thinking maybe like a five inch ribbon would be really nice and then in the middle i can put some velvet or maybe the mesh 
I'll see what I can do. I Honestly, I already tried looking for it, but I couldn't find anything. So if you know any places where I can find mesh that is really pretty, that the quality is nice, and that is white, let me know in the comments down below. Then I also got this right here from Michaels. And again, it's mesh. And the price for this was only $5. So yeah, you guys, those are my ribbons. Let me show you again. Voila! Maybe we should do the thumbnail. <laughs> I feel like we haven't sat down and chit chat or hang out in a long time. I do want to do a video where we sit down and talk about um, what's going on with me because I have been really busy. I don't want to get into too much, too much details here, but I have been really busy. Be sure to follow me on Instagram, you guys. Um, I'm there daily. Like, I post daily. So yeah, follow me there so that you can see sneak peeks of my Christmas decor. <laughs> and also, I found this at Hobby Lobby. More ornaments. And they were $10. Um, they were 50% off. Regular price was $19.99. And I got three. So here you have it. One, two, three. Oh my goodness. I just remember that I also got some reindeers from Hobby Lobby. And they are the reason why I decided to use the whole black theme. Because they are velvet. So gorgeous. I'm going to go downstairs so that I can show you. I'll, actually, I'll save those for last. Because I always like saving the best for last. But yeah, they're, they're the ones that got me started with this whole black theme if you have not seen my christmas tree yet my reveal <laughs> and unboxing i'll link it up here so that you can watch that so moving on i got this for my dining table i purchased two of them but i noticed that when i came home two of the candle the candle holders fell off so i think i'm going to take the whole thing back i got them from home goods but as you can see it has the theme of my colors gold champagne black the greenery it was gonna look really pretty on my table i might keep them i don't know i feel like if i try to fix this and and put this back on it's just gonna fall off unless i just get rid of it completely but i'm not sure what i'm gonna do i was planning on just displaying this on my dining table and then putting more candles all around it and this is how they look like so pretty Look at that champagne leaf. Let me know in the comments down below how have you been doing? What have you been up to? I hope everyone's staying safe out there. Here in California, we're still on lockdown, but I still go to Home Goods, so we're good. <laughs> My kids are going to school too, so. Okay, so another Home Goods bag. We have, let me show you the mesh. Really nice. And, ooh, actually, I'm going to show you this thing that I got from Amazon. So, I'll link it down below. Be sure to check out the description box if you see anything you like. Okay. So, I found this flowers on Amazon. And I thought they were really pretty. So, I'm going to be using them all around my tree. This is how they look like. And I bought two different styles. I'll show you both and you can let me know which ones you like best. So here you have it. Velvet. And then this one. Well, no, it's a little bit velvet, but not really. Right now they look a little weird, but I'm going to have to fluff them out. I think they're going to be really nice. I plan on adding, like I said, greenery with a few branches that I have and picks that I got from Hobby Lobby which I will show you in just a bit. And then here we have more ribbon. And the cool thing about all this ribbon that I got is that I can always use it for Halloween too. I have a couple of ideas for Christmas, but I'm not sure, it's, it's up in the air because I do love the black Christmas tree look, but I also, I'm a green tree lover, so <laughs> I'm not sure what I'll do, but I will um, keep them and maybe use them for Halloween next year. Okay, you guys, let's talk about this wreath that I found at Home Goods. I went crazy as soon as I saw it. I was like, oh my goodness, this is this is one of the most realistic wreaths I have ever seen. I'm gonna do a close up so that you can see what I'm talking about. Look at that. It looks so real. The price for this was a little pricey. 
in my opinion, it was 40 bucks. Right there, 40 bucks. But oh my goodness, I love it. It feels kind of like rubber. It has a rubbery feeling and I'm loving it, you guys. I plan on adding the velvet and then maybe some flowers. I'm not sure. I might keep the pine cones. Not sure. Imagine that with a really cute velvet ribbon coming down. It's gonna look so, so nice. If you come over to my house, you'll know that I love my greenery. I have green trees in the dining room, in the living room. I have greenery everywhere. <laughs> and then I also found the same brand, but in a garland. And the garlands were 40 bucks as well each. I got two of them just because they were 40. I wanted to get more, but I'm like, you know what, I think two is fine. The only thing that I will be taking off are the berries that it has, because I'm not using red. So I plan on taking those off. And again, same quality. Look how gorgeous that looks, you guys. Wow. I love how green and rich it is. Here's a close-up. Check it out. It feels and it looks so real. This garland was a major score. I went back to see if I could find more, but there was nothing there. So I do plan on taking them off, and I think it's super easy to take them off. Just pull them. There you go. And voila. Ooh, I'm so excited about this garland, you guys. I was planning on using it all around the tree, but then later on I kind of changed my mind because I have a window where I like putting a garland on top, so I might do that. I'm not sure, but I got two of them, so we can play around with them. If I do decide to put them on the tree, what I'll do is I'll put one garland on one tree and then another garland on the other tree. We'll see. Okay, so here we have the other garland. And also, I found these houses. The other day I went to Target and at the dollar spot, they had these cute little houses. So I picked up two and the price for them were only $5. I'll link them down below super nice and they also had some cute christmas trees okay so here we have my other garland and i thought it was really cool that they are nine feet long so they're pretty pretty long you know what i'm gonna put it back there because i think it's gonna look so nice okay there you have it <laughs> i just did it super quick but you get the vibes it's really pretty you guys i have to fluff it out it looks kind of flat right now you know the whole fluffing with this fake Christmas tree and fake garlands. You have to do that part or else it will look so flat and not fun. The next item that I got, this is from Home Goods, and I only found one. This is another garland. The price for this was $16.99 and this is how it looks like. I even thought of using this for the tree um, just to like give it more volume. But again, you guys, I'm gonna play around with everything because using a black tree for me is going to be a challenge but i think i have an idea of what i want to do so um we'll play around with it and of course we'll decorate together so if you guys are interested be sure to be subscribed to my channel so that way you know when that video goes up oh my goodness okay so here we have the christmas tree that i told you guys that i found at target i'll link them down below too i only got two of them Two of them. They're super pretty. I plan on like making like a little village with trees and all that. And I thought this was really, really nice. All right, can we talk about this velvet ribbon that I found? Honestly, I don't remember where I got this from. I have to check my emails because I did purchase ribbon from three different places. This right here is gorgeous. It has crystals on it. And the crystals are silver, but I think it's gonna be fine. Just adding a little touch of silver, it's not gonna hurt my tree. It's not gonna be a big deal. It's gonna kind of blend in and look champagne. And I believe the price for this was only $5. It's nine feet long and it is two inches wide. So I'm really excited to see what I come up with with this ribbon. So when I went to Hobby Lobby, I picked up a few items that were 50% off and also when I got the reindeer, I think I paid 30% off um, It was kind of pricey I have to say but I thought it was so beautiful and when I went to Go back to see if I can get more because I only got one style 
they were completely sold out. I got these candlesticks. They were 50% off. And they are gold. Very simple. I thought I can use them on my tablescape because I do plan on having a few tablescapes. I love doing tablescapes for the holidays. So be sure to follow me on Instagram because I will be doing pictures over there and a little sneak peek so that you can see what is coming up. You know what? I just realized I can use that garland for my tablescape as well. I think I'm gonna do that. <laughs> and then later on, I'll just put it on the tree or the living room. You gotta play around with what you have. That way you don't spend a lot. Honestly, I don't remember what I have from last year because it's, everything is in the garage, but I do plan on getting it out maybe this weekend. That way I can see and get a better idea of what I need, if, if I need anything. The only thing that I might be needing is the tree topper because I have no idea what to do for the tree topper. At one point I thought, what if I do like a big ribbon? Because I love ribbons, like a big velvet ribbon. Wouldn't that be nice on both trees? I think it would. But since we're going for something more luxe, I don't think the ribbon's gonna look nice. I think maybe picks on the top. Not too many though, because I don't want it to be so, you know, so loud. My candlesticks were $5 and also $6 because they were 50% off. I wonder if they still have more because I only got six. I might need another six. That way I can do like a whole runway of candles on my dining table. We did that for Halloween and oh my goodness, you guys, it was a hit, it was a hit. My kids and my family, they came over for Halloween. We had like a little Halloween party, we got dressed up. It was so much fun. I posted a few pictures on Instagram. I'll have a link down below to my Instagram so that you can see them. They were so, so pretty. We were superheroes. Um, you'll see if you check me out <laughs> on Instagram. All right, moving on, we have Okay, so I found some pigs from the Dollar Tree. I believe I got 10 of them. And again, you guys, if you see something at the Dollar Tree, Marshalls, Home Goods, and all those stores, you gotta grab everything you're wanting because if you are waiting to go back and expect it to be there, it will not be there. I found these pigs, they're so pretty. They're gold, but they're not so gold. They're more like a champagne color. I went back to my Dollar Tree, my local Dollar Tree, and they no longer had them. They had the silver ones, but not this color. I just thought it was really pretty, so I will be using this as well in my tree. I mean, I don't want everything to be champagne, champagne. Maybe some gold to give it a little bit of a dimension on the tree. For that, I believe I got 12 of them, 12 picks. And I have them in a bag because they are very messy. Ooh la la, you guys. Ooh la la. They are going to look so gorgeous against that black tree. I did get a bunch. I might do this as a tree topper. Like I said, I don't want it to be too loud. I want the focal point to be the tree, not the tree topper. So I think I'm going to keep it very simple on the top. Let me show you, kind of give you like an idea of what I... I'm gonna put together okay so here we have it something like that but also I'll have ornaments that are champagne that way it's all balanced out I thought this video was gonna take a long time but I'm glad we went really fast and oh yeah the reindeers let me go downstairs so I can bring them and show you I also have some ornaments that are champagne that I have in the garage I'm not gonna bring them up here because I have a lot and I do want to film another video for you guys so let me go get the deers and I'll be right back. Okay, ladies, I'm back. Whew, that was super fast. <laughs> let me catch my breath. Uh, okay, and oh my goodness, I cannot get over my deers. They are gorgeous. You ready? Ta-da! Look at that. Wow, right? They were, regular price were 50, 50 each, but you know Hobby Lobby. There was always discount. I believe I paid, I got them on sale for 30% off. I can't remember. Look at that, so, so gorgeous. When I first saw them, I thought I can do a beautiful tablescape with my reindeers in the middle with a lot of candles, greenery. I was like, oh my God, I'm so gonna do it. And then later on, I got the opportunity to work with um, Tritopia on a Christmas tree. So I thought, oh my goodness. And when they gave me the option of a Christmas tree, one of them was black. And I told my husband, I'm like, should, what color should I do? 
because I, I cannot do a green tree, but they're giving me a white, a pink, a black, and then there was other colors too. So then I was like, you know what? Let's do black. Because this is the reason why I added black into my decor. And I just think it was meant to be. So now it's the whole Christmas is like a dark Christmas. But I'm excited. I think it's gonna look very luxurious. And like I said, I'm going for something luxe and different. Definitely different. So we'll see how it turns out. I hope my vision comes to life the way I want it. If I do decide to go with the ribbon on top for my Christmas tree, I think everything else is gonna be a little bit more soft just because I think that look is more romantic and like, I don't know, it's not, <laughs> they're two different things, you know? But we'll see, we'll make it work. But yeah, these are my deers. And of course I had to get the trees because they had trees, they broke. I tried taking them back and when I went to Hobby Lobby, they no longer had them. So I said, you know what? I guess I'm just gonna use them like that. It broke really, really bad. Right there. Okay, so this is where it broke. Not too happy about it, but I guess I can hide it like that. And the price for this was $19.99 regular price, but I got them for 30% off. And then right here. They are so stunning. The velvet is everything. And that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me. I miss you all so much. It's been too long. <laughs> I want to get into my filming routine. And like I said, I will be doing a live update, updating you on the whole house hunting, the girls. I do have a trip coming up pretty soon uh, at the end of the month. It's kind of like an emergency trip, but we will talk about it on a life update for sure. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below which one was your favorite item. What do you think about my whole idea that I got? <laughs> Let me know on the comments down below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on my next one. Bye. Okay, you guys, so this is the makeup of the day. I'm wearing some lashes. So I bought this lashes from Sheen and oh my goodness, you guys, I am so impressed. I think it was 10 pairs for $5. They are so pretty very flattering i love it so i'll link them down below as well